friends, welcome back to Circle Time. Ready to sing our hello song? Tap and clap. Hello to everyone, and how are you today? Welcome to our Circle Time to sing and laugh and play. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. So roll your hands so slowly. And roll them very fast. And give your hands a clap, clap, clap. And lay them in your lap, tap, tap. I don't know if you noticed, but today I'm sitting. You don't have to sit if you want. I've chosen some stories some nursery rhymes that you can still do actions to if you want. Now these are from this book called The Puffin Baby and Toddler Treasury. Now the first story I'm going to read, kind of sing, is a nursery rhyme that you can do actions to if you'd like. Just because I'm sitting down doesn't mean you have to, but it, only if it's okay with whoever's watching you. Okay, so the first story we're going to read is called, Here We Go Round the Mulberry Bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we brush our hair, brush our hair, brush our hair. This is the way we brush our hair on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we go to school, go to school, go to school. This is the way we go to school on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we wave bye-bye, wave bye-bye, wave bye-bye. This is the way we wave bye-bye on a cold and frosty morning. Now the next song we're going to sing is called Starlight, Star Bright. Starlight, Star Bright. First star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have the wish I wish tonight. Now the story I'm going to read to you today is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. You're not afraid of bears, are you? No. Not these ones anyways. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there were three little bears who lived in a cozy cottage with a little wooden door and shutters right in the middle of the big, dark forest. <gasps> there was great big father bear who was very fond of eating and sleeping and there was medium-sized mother bear who was very merry and wise and there was little baby bear who sometimes cried but then after all he was a very little bear one sunny morning, Mother Bear made a big pot of porridge for breakfast. She put it in to three bowls and placed them on the kitchen table. That looks good, said Father Bear. It is good, said Mother Bear. Yum, yum, said Baby Bear. But when they tasted it, the three bears discovered that the porridge was much, much too hot to eat. We will leave it to cool down while we go out for our early morning walk, said Father Bear. When we come back, it will be ready to eat. So off they went into the forest. On the edge of the forest, there lived a very naughty, mischievous little girl. She was called Goldilocks because she had long golden hair down to her waist. Wow! That morning, Goldilocks' mother told her to go out into the forest and play. 
But don't go too far, she said, and don't get into mischief. But Naughty Goldilocks went right into the heart of the forest, right in the middle. And there she came across the three bears' pretty little cottage. Ooh, what a sweet little house. And the door is wide open. I'll just have a peep inside, she said to herself. Hmm, I wonder what she found. So she tiptoed up the door to, and seeing that no one was there, she stepped into the kitchen. As soon as she saw the porridge on the table, Goldilocks rushed over to taste it. <gasps> I do feel hungry and it smells so delicious, she said. So she picked up the big spoon and dipped it into Father Bear's bowl. I'll just have a few spoonfuls, she said to herself. But the porridge in Father Bear's big bowl was still too hot. And when she tried the porridge in Mother Bear's medium-sized bowl, she found that it was too lumpy. At last, she tried Baby Bear's porridge. It wasn't too hot. It wasn't too lumpy. It was just right. So Goldilocks ate up every spoonful. <gasps> After that, Goldilocks felt very full. I need to sit down, she said. So she climbed up onto Father Bear's chair, but it was much too high for her. Well, then she sat on Mother Bear's medium-sized chair. This one is much too hard, she grumbled. At last, she found Baby Bear's tiny little chair with the letters BB carved into the back of it. It wasn't too high. It wasn't too hard. It was just right. Goldilocks curled up happily in Baby Bear's chair, but she was far too heavy for such a little chair. With a terrible crack, the legs collapsed. <gasps> and the back fell off and Goldilocks found herself sitting on the floor. <gasps> Fiddlesticks, said Goldilocks. None of these chairs is any good. I shall have to find somewhere to lie down. And she marched straight upstairs to the bedroom. She tried lying down in Father Bear's big bed, but it was far too hard. Then she tried lying down in Mother Bear's medium-sized bed, but it was far too soft. So she lay down on Baby Bear's bed. It wasn't too hard. It wasn't too soft. It was just right. Oh, this is very comfortable, sighed Goldilocks, snuggling into the little bed. And she fell asleep right away. Just then, the three bears arrived home, hungry from their early morning walk. <gasps> What's gonna happen next? I'm ready for my breakfast right this minute, said Father Bear, as they stepped through the front door. But when he sat down at the table, he cried out in surprise, Someone's been eating my porridge. And someone's been eating my porridge, said Mother Bear. I wonder why they didn't finish it, she said, and looking at her bowl. They must have liked mine cried Baby Bear, holding out his empty bowl. Someone's been eating my porridge, and they've eaten it all up. And tears sprang from his eyes. Look, said Father Bear, pointing to his big chair. Someone's been sitting in my chair. And someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mother Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair wailed poor little baby bear and they've broken it all to pieces there there poor little baby bear smoothed mother bear we'll get to the bottom of this the three bears began to search the house they went upstairs to look around 
Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Father Bear. And someone's been sleeping in my bed, cried Mother Bear. And they've left it in quite a mess. Oh, whimpered Baby Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, and she's still there. And he burst into tears. Oh! At the sound of Baby Bear's voice, Goldilocks woke up with a start. <gasps> the first thing she saw was Father Bear looking very cross and baring his sharp teeth. And then she saw Mother Bear with her arms folded and tapping her foot. And then she saw Baby Bear weeping into his handkerchief. Goldilocks jumped in fright. She ran down the stairs and out of the house and into the forest as fast as her legs would carry her. <gasps> I don't think that naughty little girl will trouble us again, said Father Bear, smiling. And she never, ever did. I wonder why not. Hmm. And that's the end of our story. And now, it's time to sing our goodbye song. We take our little hands and clap, 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 clap. We take our little hands and clap, clap, clap. It's time to say goodbye. We take our little feet and stomp, 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 stomp. Stomp, 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 we take our little feet and stomp, 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 it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. I'll see you next time.